In the previous video, we introduced Hufting's inequality, which puts a probability bound on the amount by which our estimate of beta will deviate from the actual value. We saw that this bound is actually a function of the number of data points that we have. So let's try to apply that to our own problem and try to find a confidence bound for our beta parameter. Recall that the beta value that came out of our exponential fit was 1,451 and a half seconds. Let's use Hufting's inequality to put a 95% confidence interval around this value. So first let's recall the number of data points we have is approximately 3,200. So what we want is for the right side of this expression to equal 5% or 0 0.05. So specifically, if you solve this expression here for epsilon, you get a value of about 0 0.0240. Now, what does this mean exactly? That means this interval traps the true value of beta with a probability of 95%. So if we're going to use this exponential fit to predict the amount of time to wait until this person tweets next, the best that we could say is that it lies somewhere within this interval. 